There is a quote that says, time is the most valuable asset a human has. And in the field of visual effects, it is as true as it can get, because there is a side of this craft that takes a considerable amount of time. And what is that, you might ask? Well, it is just simply called the facts, the trickery that VFX artists use to create all sorts of interesting explosions, fires, and even magic facts. To tackle the time-consuming nature of this creative process, there was a guy with entrepreneurial mind and a rich VFX experience in studios such as ILM, Blur Studio, and Ubisoft, who came up with a groundbreaking tool to make these types of simulations less tedious and actually more fun to work with. So what is this software in question? How good is it? And is it really groundbreaking in the first place? If you haven't guessed it yet, the software I was referring to is none other than Embergen, a tool that has become a dominant force in the current VFX market, but also in the video game industry too, by the way. It allows artists to create stunning fire, smoke, and explosions, but it does so in a way that is so different from the rest. The question is now, how does it do that? The key to understanding this lies within the software's origin story, which all started with Nick Sievert, the mastermind who in 2016 found in Jenga FX, the company behind Embergen. However, he's not an ordinary entrepreneur, because he's also someone with an impressive 20 years of experience in real-time VFX across many prestigious studios such as ILM, Blur Studio, Ubisoft, and so on. This is an important detail for later, but before he even dreamt about that, his path to success was filled with many hardships. In an interview he gave to Alan McKay, he admitted that his main thing has been always creating video games. Just to get started, uh, do you want to quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, so uh, my name is Nick Sievert. I've been doing visual effects for, I think, the past 12 years or so. And, um, you know, got my start in games, uh, modding Half-Life 2. That's how I learned visual effects with Valve's particle editor. Um, my main my main thing is, is video games in general. First, he began his journey by modeling for Half-Life 2, and throughout his career, he discovered that the tools he has been using were not up to his standards. So after going into a venture of his own, unfortunately he failed. Then he decided to pick up VFX again as a hobby, and guess what? Funny enough, he figured out that the tools were still not fast enough or good enough for him. Following that, he decided to immerse himself in the pursuit of the knowledge he needed to finally establish Jenga FX, but don't let the recent success fool you. It is a company that had very humble beginnings. Actually, it was initially financed with credit cards, software sales, and countless hours of hard work without any outside investments. The core goal behind the company was to provide artists who work in the video game and film industries with real-time VFX tools which started with their first tool called Vector Ray Gen, and then Embergen. Just like how Nick himself said, I had plans for Embergen, but I needed to find a good team, and I struggled for a while. However, I had a vision and a really simple product called Vector Ray Gen, which I got some traction with, and it was enough to bring people on. From there, in 2018, after rewriting the software again from scratch, they had their first major studio purchases. And thanks to this recent triumph, they were ready to start Embergen at the end of 2018. At the time, it was 100% about video games, despite their interest in the movie industry. But why is that? If you read between the lines, what makes this tool so unique is its real-time capabilities. You see, Embergen, much like many other software of its kind, can produce simulations such as fire and explosions based on complex particle systems, which are themselves consequently based on a set of parameters that are built on laws of physics, such as gravity, turbulence, velocity, and so on. However, that's not a walk in the park as they say because it requires heavy calculations and having to wait long hours in the process. 
So like we said, Embergen breaks down from the norm by being a real-time fluid simulation system, with a level of complexity that is typically found only in offline software. In other words, it allows us to see simulations on the screen without any noticeable lags or wait time. But that would depend on your hardware, of course, in the first place. And this is a feat that is achieved due to its GPU-based design and how it fully uses the power of the GPU to simulate, render, and edit volumetric phenomena in real time faster than ever before. To create these simulations, like many other similar software in the market, Embergen is simply a node-based software. Basically, it combines a set of small boxes that we refer to as nodes, and they have different features and parameters inside them to create these simulations. For instance, we have the Particles Emitter node, which we can use to edit the look of our particles, or the Simulation node to turn the particles into smoke, for example. The good thing is, the software also includes over a hundred presets that you can use immediately if you don't want to bother to learn the software and create stuff your own, as well as a VDB export feature, which is a popular format in the industry to store volumetric data, and it can serve as a way to transfer or render the simulations somewhere else. For example, if you are a Blender user or Max or Maya user and you don't want to spend the time to create these simulations yourself, you can just import them to your scene and continue with your day. On top of that, it also has the ability to generate fully assembled flipbooks in a second, which is a commonly used technique in video games that transforms the simulations into a series of images, which can be played in order as a sequence animation, in addition to many other features that the software offers. Following its release, and thanks to its groundbreaking set of features, Ambergen quickly gained recognition across the entire 3D industry. However, the place where it found home was within the dynamic world of video games. And since video games run in real time, it was only natural for the connection to happen, don't you think? And today, Ambergen stands as a tool that is currently used by over 200 leading game studios such as Blizzard, Bethesda, and Bandai Namco, just to name a few, due to its ability to produce both realistic and stylized effects efficiently at a high level, which I think is the reason it became popular since it is really useful. But what if I told you there is more to the story than that? You see, this achievement is not merely a stroke of luck, rather, it is thanks to the connections that were established before even the public release of the software. As Nick explained himself, one of the reasons behind the quick adaptation of Embergen from studios is that he had a bunch of demo calls with major studios, where he had the luxury to ask them about their honest feedback of the software. And by the time they launched, part of why it left such a strong impression was because their whole company was built around feedback channels, which they acquired after the studios bought a lot of licenses. While video game studios have been the bread and butter of Embergen, as it was explained by Nick Sievert himself many times, if we take a look at the communication and the marketing that Jenga FX did, you would realize it is also a software that is targeting the film industry. But did it really succeed when it comes to that? So how does it compare to software that are constantly used for video games and the film industry? And how does it compare to software such as Houdini? The reality is, Embergen still has a long way to go when it comes to that, if it even catch up to begin with, mainly because I think the use cases are different. Embergen is fantastic at producing game effects and motion graphics, but it still struggles and it is incapable of producing high-end VFX similar to those created by Houdini, a sentiment that can be found in the statement of the user who said, if you need a volume that looks good enough, use Embergen. It will be infinitely faster. And if you want a photorealistic high-end work, use Houdini. Houdini, just like many other offline software, can produce better looking effects, thanks to their superior solvers and more impressive set of nodes. And when it comes to VFX, once the GPU is at its limits with Embergen, 
Theoretically, that could be it. The effects can't get any better, most of the time. Whereas in Houdini, for example, you can leave the simulation to bake for nights instead, which would give you a level of complexity and detail that Embergen simply can't compete with. Also, just as a reminder, this is just an overview of the software, and there are many parts we skipped, so if you have something to add, please leave it in the comments section below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.